Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway, and I'm the preacher here at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we are in Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. And today we'll take the time and go ahead and read verses 1 through 10. Acts 3, starting with verse 1. It says, Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms from those who entered the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go in the temple, asked for alms. And fixing his eyes on him, with John, Peter said, Look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and his ankles and bones received strength. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. So as we read through these verses, again, one is you got a man that has been lamed from his mother's womb, so lamed his entire life. And you had some who were assisting him and helping him get to the gate, laying him there so that he could uh, beg for some alms, beg for some money, and... But Peter and John come by, and they say, silver and gold we do not have. We don't have the money to be able to give to you, to assist you in that. But what we do have, we give you. And they were able to heal this man, and he was able to, to rise up weeping and praising God. Now, we couldn't do that today, right? I could not walk around, and I could walk by somebody who is in bad condition and just say look and grab his hand pick him up and say start walking there you go you're healed i don't have that power gifts of healing has ceased these things have come to an end but i think the example we could take from here is what we do have again sometimes we try to figure out can can i give should i give what what do i give how much do i give and assisting and helping people out when we have the opportunity giving what we can. But a reminder to us is that what we do have, what we always have, and that is the Word of God. That is the truth. That is to share the gospel, the seed that the Lord has blessed us with to go and plant and to, to water so that others could receive the truth and obey the gospel themselves. Something that we can share with anyone and that we should share with everyone. And so it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter what situation. When we come to somebody, we, we each, if you've obeyed the gospel, if you know the truth, if you know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you know what needs to be done for salvation, then we all have something in which we can share and help others. And so let us take that consideration as we go from day to day and we pass along the people in the world, the people that are in our lives that we see every day. And saying, what, what do I have that I could share, that I could do, that I could give to assist someone else? Well, that is the truth, the Word of God, the hope that we have. Share that with them. Let us do what God has commanded us to do. So, Anyways, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope that everybody has a blessed and wonderful day today. And if the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.